What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Triforce Addiction, welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So after 150 like, really excruciating games of free for all shipment, I have finally completed the Diamond Camel Challenge for the MK2 Carbine Marksman Rifle. So in this video, I want to talk about my final, I guess my final thoughts of this weapon as well as giving you guys the personal class setup that I use with it. So in terms of appearance, this weapon does look insanely good with diamond camo i love the barrel i love the iron sight i just love pretty much everything about this diamond camo and it was really worth your time um in terms of how this weapon works and functions it's more or less the same as pretty much any other marksman rifle uh with the exception of this one being a little bit quicker when it comes to rechambering and speaking of rechambering this weapon does vary in terms of you know rechambering after shooting depending on what ammo that you're using if you're using the base one it's going to be pretty slow but it's not going to be as bad but if you do use the point 30 it's going to be a lot faster and you could shoot in a more rapid succession but with the cost of i guess damage because you get a lot more hit markers if you do use the point 30 so if I were you, I'd just stick to the basic ammo. In terms of the basic ammo, it is extremely generous when it comes to the one-shot kill area. I mean, you could pretty much one-shot people across the map with little to no effort. Um, and like I say, it depends really on how accurate you are. So, yeah, this weapon doesn't really have a damage drop. You could still pretty much one-shot in the stomach from a pretty long range. Um, the only downside is, that, of course, the rechambering is a lot slower, but for a good reason. Excuse me, but let me amend it because there is one other downside with this. So, if you do use the point .30, your ADS time does get increased by 20%, alongside the fire interval being, like, increased by 50%. But when you actually use the basic ammo, the weapon's going to be a lot slower, so you don't really get that 20% um, ADS benefit. So while all that's fine and dandy, the only real problem with this weapon is, of course, the movement. So the ADS speed's all right. I think it's perfect where it is. But the problem is the ADS movement speed being very, very slow. And this also applies if you are crouching. And even if you have the .30 uh, rounds, you're not going to have any sort of increase when it comes to your ADS movement speed. You actually have to use a stock, but it slows down your aim. So if you want to use that stock that gives you like the 15% movement, it's not really going to do much for you. So you're probably going to have to use Skulker and just that little stock in general just to make this a little bit quicker. And even then, I don't really think it's going to be enough. It's probably just going to be as fast as the base SPR ADS movement speed. Really, that's the only issue with this weapon. Like I said, it's just the ADS movement. It, it's a, it's just a little bit too slow. I mean, if they were to increase it just by like 5 to 10%, that'd be nice. But, you know, as of right now, it's just not the best. So you have to really make your shots count. So like what you just saw a few seconds ago of me shooting that guy all the way from that range is basically just showing how much power this weapon has if you use the default ammo. And like I said, it's really, really amazing. So I guess that's the trade-off. Like having much, like having like a lot of power with your marksman, but at the same time having very slow movement. I mean, it's kind of like the Arctic 50, but for marksman rifles. So now let's get into the class up. So I have the sport stock, the sport barrel, the bullet return, uh, laser tactical, and of course the stippled grip tape. So all this is what you pretty much need in order to survive with this weapon. Um, of course, every single attachment here, except for bullet return, gives you an ADS speed benefit, which you do actually need for this weapon because it's really, really slow. Um, the reason why I have bullet return is because um, you're going to go through your ammo like very fast. So like the more kills that you get, the more chances that there's going to be ammo added to your mag without having to reload. There could be a point where you actually end up spending 10 bullets without having to reload, which is pretty cool. The sports stock does give you a 10% ADS speed benefit. The sports barrel does the same thing, I believe. And the stippled grip tape, of course, gives you a 5% ADS speed benefit as well as a sprint to fire benefit. So yeah, um, I pretty much set it so that it has the fastest ADS speed that it could possibly have. Um, well, not really. But, like if you do put the point thirty, um, you do get a twenty percent boost. But of course, you, we're kind of looking for power in this scenario. So really, this is the best class setup that I could actually think of. So this is pretty much going to end off the diamond uh, class setup review for the MK2 Carbine Marksman Rifle. Like I said, it's a very solid weapon. I really love the power of it, um, but I feel like it's a little bit too slow, especially for a rifle of this size. 
Um, but of course, they probably did this for balancing purposes because, like I said, the one-shot kill range is extremely, extremely forgiving. So, like I said, you can shoot them in the lower abdomen and still get a one-shot kill, especially from a very long range. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a like because this did take a lot of effort to do. It would be really appreciated if you could do those things. And anyways, have a wonderful day. Thank you.